Bob Lazar, an American whistleblower, has been making headlines in the world of UFOs since the late 1980s. He claims to have witnessed spacecraft from outer space and thoroughly explored their insides. Virtually certain that's the way the craft operated and that uses close to or the exact same propulsion system. In August 2013, the CIA confirmed the existence of a secretive military zone called Area 51, situated in the Nevada desert. In 1989, investigative journalist George Knapp interviewed Dennis, who claimed to be employed at a secret military base in Nevada, which the U.S. government strongly denied. Dennis described advanced effort systems powered by huge energy sources beyond our current understanding, with spacecraft possessed capabilities far beyond anything known to human technology. He also spoke of encountering beings from other planets, intelligent entities whose presence challenged the very foundation of our reality. These revelations mixed up a series of speculation and plot, prompting further investigation into the secrets hidden within the hidden place of Area 51. Rumors about secret government experiments, reverse engineering of alien technology, and secret interactions with extraterrestrial beings mixed up a series of speculation and plot. With each passing year, the mystery of Area 51 only deepens, bringing up endless debates and conspiracy theories about the true nature of our interactions with otherworldly beings. As the home of secrets surrounding these mysterious facilities begins to lift, one can't help but wonder what other shocking revelations lie in wait. All of that came from Bob Lazar. Just beyond the reach of our current understanding. In addition to the nine flying of extraterrestrial origin, it was disclosed that the facility's employees were engaged in a strange operation of uncommon scale. Not related to storing the crashed UFOs, they embarked on a relentless pursuit of knowledge, investigating and inspecting every step of the alien technology. Among the team of researchers, there were whispers of groundbreaking discoveries, rumors of energy systems defying the laws of physics, materials beyond earthly comprehension, and energy sources seemingly drawn from the universe itself. The quest to understand this strange object consumed the facility's resources and manpower as scientists and engineers labored tirelessly in pursuit of a technological breakthrough that could redefine humanity's place in the universe. Amidst the tension atmosphere, George Knapp found himself gripped by a mixture of shock, fascination, and growing apprehension. If the public were to uncover the truth hidden within the walls of the facility, it could spark a real shift in the balance of power, both domestically and on a global scale. As the discussion continued, George couldn't shake the feeling of unease that gripped him, knowing that if the allegations were indeed true, the fate of the whistleblower hung in the balance caught between the relentless pursuit of knowledge and the ruthless machinations of those who sought to keep the truth buried. A Whistleblower's Price for Truth is a story about Bob Lazar, a man of mystery and interest who ventured into the spotlight of controversy and speculation. Born in 1959 in the heartland of America, Lazar's revelations sparked a wildfire of debate, dividing people into two factions. Those quick to dismiss him as a deceiver selling fake stories, and those captivated by the importance of his revelations. However, beneath the surface of disbelief and questioning lay a deeper truth, one that vibrated through the home of powerful people. The price of his truthfulness was high within the cloak-and-dagger machinations of government secrecy. Conspiracy theorists whispered stories of secret operations and black budgets, painting a portrait of a shadowy establishment hell-bent on concealing the truth about Area 51. The repercussions of his revelations were not limited to the kingdom of speculation. In a chilling turn of events, his safe house was violated and his home invaded by unknown attackers in the dead of night. The aftermath bore witness to a scene of chaos and violation with mysterious messages written on the walls serving as a good reminder of the dangers that take place in the shadows. Affected by the shadow of inspection and intimidation, Lazar found himself within a web of fear and uncertainty. The events related to his whistleblowing activities weighed heavily upon him, threatening to pull out the trembling flame of his activities. Yet amidst the problems and uncertainty, he remained committed in his quest for truth, a lone guardian standing against the direction of disbelief and doubt. His journey, filled with danger and uncertainty, serves as a proof to the enduring power of opinion in the face of difficulty. Robert Lazar, a prominent figure in the UFO saga, claims to have worked at the Los Alamos National Laboratory and has been supported by various accounts from colleagues and associates. 
His educational background suggests he excelled in subjects such as physics and engineering from a young age, with childhood friends recalling his curiosity and talent with complex machinery. His involvement with classified projects aligns with historical events and technological advancements, suggesting that his claims may be rooted in reality rather than ordinary creation. Lazar's personal life is diverse with various entrepreneurial ventures, including the development of innovative consumer products and alternative energy solutions. This eclectic portfolio underscores his status as a genius with intellectual curiosity. His mysterious story transforms scanty speculation, captivating the imagination of scholars, historians, and conspiracy theorists alike. Whether regarded as a whistleblower exposing government secrets or a masterful storyteller rolling big fabrications, he remains a huge figure whose legacy continues to interest and inspire curiosity. Lazar's story is extraordinary, with its centerpiece being a dark substance he named Element 115. According to him, this mysterious element served as the lifeblood of the claimed extraterrestrial spacecraft housed at Area S4. His study of Element 115 bordered on the fantastical, attributing it to the ability to create a gravitational field when stimulated, thus enabling gravity power. He suggested that these gravitational confrontations were the driving force behind the seemingly uncertain movements often associated with UFO sightings. In the early 1990s, the scientific community discredited Lazar's claims, as Element 115 had no place in the periodic table. However, in 2003, scientists managed to combine a super-heavy element, Muscovium, with an atomic number of 115. The creation of Muscovium reignited interest in Lazar's claims, and his narrative painted a picture of gravity reactors fueled by Element 115, generating what he called a gravity A-wave. The difficulties and accuracies of Lazar's accounts, whether grounded in truth or simple lies, have captured the imagination of many, positively influencing discussions surrounding UFO technology and potential extraterrestrial speed methods. Today, opinions on Lazar's credibility remain divided, with questions demanding real evidence, while others find consistency in his narrative and technical details. Bob Lazar, a mysterious figure, gained public attention in 2018 with the release of the documentary Bob Lazar Area 51 and Flying Sources. The documentary reveals his involvement with Area 51 and his encounters with advanced aircraft technology. His story gained fresh momentum as he courageously stood by his claims despite facing widespread doubt and disbelief. The documentary not only served as a platform for his revelations, but also brought concern among a new generation. The resurgence of interest in his story was fueled by significant developments in the home of UFO disclosure. In 2013, the U.S. government's official acknowledgement of Area 51, long after his initial disclosures, underscored the truth of his claims. Additionally, the U.S. Navy's confirmation of multiple videos representing unidentified events performing seemingly impossible operations sent shockwaves through the scientific community. These sightings, captured on military-grade equipment, added a new dimension to the debate surrounding his descriptions of advanced technology. In recent years, a wave of transparency initiatives regarding UFOs has emerged from certain quarters of the U.S. government and military. The declassification and release of previously classified UFO footage in 2020 marked a significant step in this ongoing topic. The emergence of such evidence, while not conclusive proof of his claims, fires up speculation and debate about the existence of advanced technology and extraterrestrial phenomena. Lazar's revelations regarding Element 115 have sent shockwaves through both scientific and many communities combining discussions and investigations into the home of extraterrestrial technology and government secrets. According to Lazar, this elusive element serves as the backbone of the alien skill drive systems, enabling feats that defy the laws of physics as we know them. Through controlling the mysterious properties of Element 115, these extraterrestrial vessels have the ability to manipulate gravity itself facilitating things that would be deemed impossible by conventional aeronautical standards. Lazar's challenges established scientific standards by claiming that Element 115 possesses stable relations, a sharp departure from the explosive nature of its terrestrial counterparts. This assertion not only challenges conventional understandings of atomic physics, but also raises profound questions about the nature of elements beyond our comprehension. 
Looking deeper into the mysteries of Element 115, we are forced to confront the possibility of extraterrestrial contact and the profound implications it holds for humanity's place in the universe. Bob Lazar's account of encounters with alien intelligences in the dark home of the S-4 installation near Area 51 is a groundbreaking exploration of technology that defies normal understanding. He focuses on the dark substance known as Element 115, which is believed to be used by extraterrestrial civilizations for their advanced spacecraft. Lazar believes that Element 115 serves as the foundation of alien skill systems, providing the energy necessary to manipulate significant fields and travel across vast planet distances. This revelation challenges our understanding of physics and pushes humanity into strange territories of scientific exploration. Lazar's accounts also reveal the complicated engineering journey of these extraterrestrial vessels, describing energy systems that operate on principles fundamentally different from anything conceived by human ability. Through controlled manipulation of Element 115, these spacecraft possess the capability to achieve speed and find ways that go against the challenges of Newtonian mechanics, hinting at a level of technological experience that surpasses our own by orders of magnitude. The journey towards uncovering this hidden element was filled with challenges and breakthroughs. The Joint Institute for Nuclear Research in Dubna, Russia, served as the main point for this groundbreaking endeavor. A team of researchers from both Russian and American backgrounds pooled their expertise and resources, driven by a shared passion for pushing the boundaries of human knowledge. At the center of their efforts was the Particle Activator, a miracle of modern science that made atoms quickly approach the speed of light. After countless trials and meticulous analysis, success was achieved when a new element technology is real. What would it mean for us mere earthlings? Buckle up because things are about to get even more mind-bending. Previously unseen by human eyes, emerged from the chaos. Initially nicknamed un un pentium the element's name was related to its atomic number, 115, but lacked the elegance befitting its significance. In recognition of the region where this scientific triumph occurred, it was later given the name Moscovium, celebrating the joint spirit that brought it into existence. The discovery of Moscovium stands as a proof to the power of scientific inquiry and international cooperation, showcasing humanity's commitment to unlocking the mysteries of the universe one atom at a time. Moscovium, an artificial element first arranged in 2003 by a team of Russian and American scientists, is a heavyweight in the periodic table with an atomic number of 115. However, it is a fleeting presence in the world of atoms, decaying at a shocking rate and having lifetimes measured in fractions of a second. This instability is not just a nuisance for scientists, but a fundamental barrier to any practical application of the element. Bob Lazar, who added Hollywood intrigue to the Muscovium saga, was spinning tales of alien spacecraft powered by Element 115. According to Lazar, these extraterrestrial engines use the incredible energy potential of Muscovium to defy gravity and move around the universe. While his claims captured the imagination of conspiracy theorists, the scientific community remained in doubt. The properties he attributed to Moscovium simply don't match up with the reality of this unstable element. But it bears no resemblance to what Lazar described. Real Moscovium is highly unstable and wouldn't be capable of the feats Lazar attributed. Lazar's background is covered in mystery and controversy with so-called government cover-ups and whispers of top-secret experiments. His story remains one of the most mysterious chapters in the ongoing saga of science and the search for truth in a universe full of mysteries. Bob Lazar's record was revealed, a narrative straight from the home of science, yet anchored in a supposed reality. His bold claims of manipulating gravity waves for extraterrestrial spacecraft drives have stirred real discussions among experts of the unexplained. Additionally, Within the shadows of secrecy lies the undercover S-4 facility lived in the Nevada desert near the infamous Area 51. Signals us to look beyond the cover-up of conventional wisdom and entertain the possibility that amidst the vast expanse of the universe, mysteries yet untold await discovery. Bob Lazar, a physicist, proposed the idea of spacecraft traveling at speeds surpassing light, binding advanced aircraft together. He linked this innovative capability to Element 115, a man-made element with fleeting stability that could generate an important field of uncommon magnitude, granting control over gravity waves and enabling miraculous feats of force. However, 
The reality of Element 115 is significantly different from his assumption, as it is a fleeting substance far from the stable, long-lasting power source image by Lazar. The discovery of gravitational waves in 2016 marked a key moment in astrophysics, confirming Albert Einstein's century-old prediction that massive heavenly objects, such as black holes, can send flow moving through the fabric of space-time. The confirmation of gravitational waves was proof of human creativity, providing a new lens through which we can explore the universe. However, as we marvel at the wondrous possibilities hinted at by his claims, we must temper our passion with scientific accuracy. The observatory, commonly referred to as LIGO, played a significant role in the following events, detecting the slightest distortions in the fabric of space-time caused by gravitational waves passing through Earth. The precision of LIGO's instruments is truly inspiring, as they were able to make changes smaller than the diameter of a particle. This groundbreaking discovery marked the beginning of a new era in the universe. Lightning waves into our weapon of observational tools alongside traditional telescopes that capture light. Lazar's ideas about artificially creating and manipulating gravity waves for space travel fail to blend with established knowledge. While physicists explore theories of warp drives and space-time manipulation, the practical application of his claims remains beyond our current capabilities. Area 51, part of the Nevada Test and Training Range under the control of the U.S. Air Force, has sparked various theories ranging from experimental aircraft testing to extraterrestrial encounters. Lazar's most intriguing revelations revolve around a site called S-4, situated near Area 51, which operated at an even higher level of secrecy, focusing on reverse engineering extraterrestrial technology, particularly spacecraft systems. Within its confines, he allegedly witnessed actual alien spacecraft and revealed details about their machine, including the mysterious Element 115 purportedly powering them.